why don't you play for me? And then we're gonna have you play that next. Yeah. Okay, so. I hope this thing has stayed in, uh, in tune somewhere. Okay. And, and like I said, this is not a very fun sound to play, which I do that purposely. So, so what I started out with when I was uh, a youngster was things kind of like, uh, they got me nervous now. And then you play, let me see a little fingerprint. But okay. You know, my thumb's going all over the place. I don't really pay attention. Okay, I, I can, I can like see that, so. someone, what's going on right, yeah. right away. Okay, um, thank you. One of one of the things that you want to do. Uh, let me tell you what this what is I think. Well, yeah, I was that Malaguena or, or yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But uh, I think here's what you were doing right. I, you a lot of people sit like this. Now there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, I'll tell you how I sit, and this is what he does. When you stand up and you're playing now, when you sit down, you're like this. Yeah. Okay, so uh, this is actually more like you're standing up than here, because here, you know what I mean? Who, nobody that I know plays like that. But having said that, when you move a guitar like this, it's, much, it's more comfortable. So you play like what I would consider a classical guitar. So this is the way I always sit when I sit up. I always put the guitar here. Now, one of the things that I notice, and when I talk about one person, I, I mean it for all, there's two things that I see right now. One, I call this daylight. There's virtually no daylight in your hand. So you're actually negating the double jointed thumb. You're basically yeah, almost not this, using yes. it, yeah. you know, because you're like this. Okay, well, here's what happens when you're like this. There's two things. One, your fingers are scrunched. Okay, it's really hard to, to get movement like this. It, you, it's really, you're, you're inhibiting your fingers from moving. Okay. The second thing is this, okay. okay? When I play guitar, the first thing I think of is, if I, how am I playing and what would it look like if I was standing up walking down the street? <laughs> okay, so if I'm like this. Yeah. <coughs> That's a really good idea. You know, or, you know, or if you're standing conversely like this. <laughs> I, you know what I mean? It, it looks like kind of Magilla Gorilla. I'm not saying you do that. Okay, but here's, and here's what I'm saying. I'm not trying to make fun of you. What, what I'm saying is this, that to use, there's two things that have to happen. One, you have to play with what I call daylight. There has to be some air bet between this. And what that will do is it'll free, it'll free your fingers up. It'll free your fingers to be able to do what you want them to do. When you're like this, the only time this is good is the vibrato. See, because every great blues player, or you, know, you listen to a Joe Bonamassa, or you watch an Eric Johnson or Ingve, you know, even myself. See, I use my fourth finger a lot because I'm left-handed, but I always put my thumb over the neck. So here's what I suggest to you. And again, these exercises from Speed Kills are really gonna help. Um, you're really good at finger picking, so I'm glad you showed me that. One of the things that I, I noticed too, there's two things, well, well, a few. One, when you play, and I'm gonna have people uh, work on some exercises. There is an imaginary line that I think about that goes straight up from every fret. A human hand wants to go that way. It always wants to move towards the headstock, the tuning keys. Whoops. Telemarketers. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Let's put this down. That's pretty bright. Okay, anyway, what I, I'm going to show you, uh, and it's on the Speed Kills DVD. You know, you can dig get by the digital downloads if you want. But that, I, you know, what I figured as a gift. You know, here, you, you know, here's a number, download the thing. You know, you get the DVD. But this is me when I was young going, I'm gonna give you the keys to the Lamborghini. It is filled with killer exercises. Movable tab, 
uh, you know, they, um, in other words, like uh, it, you fi if the tab is, you can follow it slow, you can, you can play fast, you can print out the booklet, but here's what I think about your double jointed thumb. I think when you play like this, you're not using it, but the other thing is when you're playing, uh, see, like, watch, see that chord there? See, look at how high your thumb is. Yeah. See, see so I'm predisposition because I learned that is like when I was 14, 15, 16 years old. Yeah, because you, let me see your hands. Put your hand up to mine. Okay, let's see. Yeah, so some of your, your thumb is definitely bigger. You know, your fingers are generally bigger than mine. Mm -hmm. My, my uh, second finger is about the same. But okay. here's, I'll tell you what you have that's the same as I do. When people say, oh man, you know, my hand's too small, I'm not big enough. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what the relationship is. This is how in-depth I get on this stuff. See my index finger? It's not as big as my ring finger. A lot of people, look at your index finger. It's about the same, if not longer. So what does this mean? It means, even though I'm 6'1", if I had another quarter inch, I'd have a bigger finger stretch. And I still have a big finger stretch. So it's not really how tall you are or how big your hand is. It's how your fingers are in relation to each other. Okay, so yeah, you've I got. I was lucky enough to break this pinky when I was about. I 12, did too. And I'm breaking it out. See how it sticks yeah, out. It yeah. So I get an extra little, you know, reach well, on there. Well, maybe that's you know? good. Yeah. Yeah. It's all about dexterity, man. Yeah. Because like, like my finger is so curved from holding a guitar pick. Since I was 10, it's like, he went that away. You know I what I mean? I mean, it's really, it's like. That's what I thought this was from. I was like, just from the way I hold it. It probably pick. is, yeah. I yeah. So but over time, your, your right hand finger is kind of yeah. adjusted to the way. Okay. Yeah, but here's what I would say. I'm going to show everybody some exercises. Yeah. Play the exercises more like a classical guitar. You don't want your hand this way. You don't want it this way. But pick, and also, one thing you have to do on an electric, you've got to pick a lot harder. You're, you're strumming really light, you know. You know when you watch. Yeah, you know, it's like another. yeah. You know, I mean, <laughs> can you picture dime? Did he? Oh. Did he sound hard? You know. I mean, it was like mean, man. It's mean. You know, Tosin. I mean, anybody you think of that plays electric guitar. Any great player, I mean, watch Tommy Emmanuel. He oh, beats yeah. the heck out of his guitar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he's, he's vicious. You know, you show guitars no mercy. Yeah. And, and, uh, but it's true. And what you have to do is you have to always think daylight with your hand. If you do not have any, any, if you do not, if you are, if your hand is touching the wood or so close, you are inhibiting your fingers. Your fingers are like, ah! They can't move. It's like putting them in a straitjacket. Once you give it what I call daylight, your fingers are free. And then pick hard, and then the thing, and you try not to move your fingers too far. When I said the imaginary line, you try never to go past the imaginary line. You with your the imaginary line with the moving your fingers. Yeah, in other words, straight up from every single fret, there's an imaginary oh, so line. Just go straight up. Yeah. There, and possibly yes. And then uh, what I want to do is I want to hear him play, and then I'm going to address this a little more. Because you look like you're sitting there waiting for something to happen here. Thank you for yeah, that. Yeah, I'll come back to that because it's super important. Thanks. How long have you been playing? Uh, not very long. Ago. Tonight's the first night. So this is his uh, first? Dude, you're, you're off to a good start, man. He just got a guitar for Christmas. That's quite a guitar to start with. Do you play guitar? Yeah, for all you guys. So he's never played before then, right? Uh, he's played Lick It Up by Kiss, just, you know. Okay, nice, yeah. Right? Well, so, you know, just, okay, so is there anything that he can play to show us, or? I don't know, show me. Well, you know what we can do then, too? Maybe, uh, you know, I don't, because I don't want to make it boring for him, but I can maybe go over techniques, and you'll have the DVD of all the exercises yeah. that he can work yeah, on. Yeah, I don't want to hold everybody else up. They, no, they've been playing no, for a no, time. No, I, do you want to play something? Yeah, let him do his thing. Just, just give us a riff. Play some Kiss, man. <laughs> yeah, put the volume up all the way. Do you know any chords? You know the A chord over here. Yeah, play an A chord and strum the heck out of it. All the way down. There you go, man. Press it down. Try strumming it. Strum. Like, like, go like that. Mess all. There you go. See, that sounds cool. Now raise your goblet of rock. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 
strum the more strings. Try to hit all the strings yeah. that you can. There you go. Okay, cool. All right. All right. Well, I'm gonna the DV. So, you're a guitar player, so yeah. what I can talk about with everybody is also uh, applicable to your son. Right. So it was more an idea of if you practice hard, like I've been teaching him everything. He's a great fisherman. He's a good hunter. Uh, so we're just getting into the guitar, and it's like I bet he practiced a lot. Oh, I did when I was a kid. The age you were when you started playing yeah. guitar. And, yeah, you know. yeah. There, um, for, you know, there's just no substitute for practice. Yeah. I mean, I would, you know, there's no shortcut. You know, even, but you know, I have an 18 year old nephew that plays guitar and he's really good. And, you know, but I, I, my, unfortunately, my sister passed away a few years ago. It's mom, so it's my my brother-in-law and me kind of raising him. You yeah. know, but he, he's a good kid. And see, so you're, you know, and I kind of tell my brother-in-law when you read about famous people, Wolfgang's uh, Amadeus Mozart, his father Leopold. I'm not physically, I'm not talking about, yeah, but yeah. pushed, pushed his son. Yeah, absolutely. You got to kind of do it. I, and I'm not here to tell anybody how to raise their kids, but mm -hmm. when you have pe kids that are talented, they need parental direction, you know, because oh, yeah. what? Joe who Jackson. wants to learn anything, <laughs> you know? <laughs> What's that? Those are Joe Jackson. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but, you know, I mean, you look at, like, even the tennis player, Andre Agassi, Paganini's father. You know, I know yeah. How old were you when you started playing guitar? Uh, Ten. Yeah, but see, I was kind of lucky because I had the, uh, I, I liked it. And see, I knew at 10 I was going to be a pro. Yeah. 